<laughs> okay, so one of the things that we're trying to do right now is we're trying to get one of these to just spin out of control and fall down onto the base because that's a quote unquote known issue. It's not actually an issue, it's just all about balance. We've tried three different ones on the base. This one has been spinning for almost 15 minutes. We cannot get one to fall. We can't. We can't. We're trying. We're honest to God trying and it's not. Today is the day. Finally. So the Air Bonsai is the first Kickstarter project that I ever actually considered putting money into. Today's just kind of about getting to know the people. Also, these kids are really cute. When I bought the Air Bonsai, one of the things that I wanted to be able to do is just kind of set it up in my house and leave it there, floating, all day. Or at the very least, for the duration of a party while I had guests. But the base overheats and the thing comes slamming down onto it. Now I haven't really made a video about that yet to talk about it. I really want to be able to just leave that thing set up in my house. I think, I think this guy might like gardening. I think. So... I think this might be the place. Questioning plus action equals impact. Seems like this is the place. Zoom. Also, just a minor note. That is like the best bicycle parking job I think I've ever seen. I'm gonna go up these stairs. I think this might be where I need to be. This is not the right spot. He's delivering milk. I love that there are still milk deliveries in Tokyo. I love that that's a thing. Nice to meet you too. This is like a 20 year old tree. It's amazing. But what we're gonna do now is they're gonna teach me how to balance my air bonsai so that I don't get the super fast spin and so that it doesn't overheat. This is doable and we're gonna do it now. When it starts spinning out of control, the magnets heat up. That's where your issue's coming from. So this here is the testing area. They take bubble wrap and they put it on there. They get them spinning. If they overheat and they go, then they don't get used. So look at the bases of these. You can't actually buy these anymore, unfortunately. These were for the Isetan department store here in Japan, these bronze bases. And I'm just super jealous because those are just really gorgeous. Anyways, testing center, really cool. So if you were to leave it at that speed, mm -hmm. that would mean it would most likely overheat. Yes, in a short, but, uh, uh, short, <laughs> in minutes. But something like this, mm -hmm. or one like this, mm -hmm. that's balanced properly, Hi. wouldn't overheat. No heating. You can touch it. Yeah, see it's cold. So. Okay. And they're in good timing. Let's okay. Check that. Yes. I found the milk.
All of this came to an end so quickly. I don't know that Thank you. See you guys. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I really don't, but I'm getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> And I almost washed right off that. <laughs> you can't quite that like would have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun. I had no idea what I was going to be going into when I got in there, but yeah. <laughs>